Um, all right, let's get to the late afternoon games. Uh, the first one of eight is the Jaguars at the Colts. Uh, signed open up Colts minus 14. It's still 14. Uh, so who do you like here? I like the Colts. Um, I hate this line uh, because just anytime you get a line this high, anything could happen. Uh, but the Jaguars have been terrible lately. Um, and, you know, they might have been like not putting their best foot forward because they knew they were in the race to, you know, get Trevor Lawrence. Um, I think that's definitely a possibility. Uh, but at this point in the season, they're already locked into the number one spot. So will they try to a little bit harder, try to play spoiler? Will they bring back some of their injured guys and in this game and try to just beat Indy and knock them out of the playoff race? I could see it. I doubt it happens, but um, I just really don't know what to make of Jacksonville. Um, the thing I do know is that Indianapolis is going to be ready for this game. They're coming off of a brutal loss to the Steelers where they just collapsed late on defense um, and couldn't do anything on offense. So I think the Colts are going to want to uh, kind of get back on track after that game and get revenge um, on on the Jaguars who beat them in week one. And, you know, if they had just taken care of business against the Jaguars team that has now lost 14 games in a row um, in week one, the Colts would be in the driver's seat for the division. So they might just be like, we're going to uh, put our best foot forward and just crush the Jag. So I think I'd bet more on that happening. Um, I don't think I want to bet this line. Um, you could probably convince me to, um, if you have a compelling enough argument, but uh, I'm, I'm on Colts, but this this line just is scaring me a little bit. Yeah, I guess my argument would be um, like I, I wouldn't read too much into last week's loss against the Steelers because I, I thought I was surprised that the Colts got out big in the first place because they were down both tackles and I, I thought that they wouldn't be able to move the ball at all. Um, I, and I was surprised that Jonathan Taylor ran as well as he did, and then uh, Taylor had a great blitz pickup uh, to uh, to allow Rivers to get the touchdown to Pascal. And so when when the Colts were up twenty four to seven, I was tilting so hard, I was like yelling at the TV, I'm like like the Colts don't have both tackles, like what are they doing? Like and, and then I was I was thrilled to get that comeback uh, for for the Steelers because uh, they they were my top play last week in in addition to Jacksonville, sadly. Um, so I, I think. If for me, if the if the Colts get their tackles back, like at least one, but it, it like both would be obviously better. Uh, if they get their tackles back, I think they're going to be able to move the ball at, like so easily against Jacksonville. It'll, it'll it, like it won't be a problem. Um, or as Jacksonville, they they've really struggled to pass protect in recent weeks. Um, I, I think they're going to have trouble with the Colts' pass rush, and I really don't see them like doing much. Like yeah, like they they suddenly don't have to lose uh, to get Trevor Lawrence. Um, but they've been they've been trying to lose for so long that I, I just don't know how they can suddenly come away with a victory. Um, they already beat the Colts this year. Like, is there going to be mo more motivation to beat them twice? I I don't know. I I, I feel like the Colts should be able to win this game easily if they get both tackles back. Yeah, you make a good point. Like, why is Jacksonville going to all of a sudden try really hard just to be like, oh, we could beat the Colts twice in the year? That would just be also extremely embarrassing for the Colts to lose twice to the Jaguars. So um, I don't think – and Chris is asking if um, any of the factors are likely to occur in this game that from the game that Jacksonville beat Indy. I don't think so. I think that was Phillip Rivers' first game with the Colts, and uh, it's kind of rocky, and the Jaguars got a pretty good pass rush on him that game, I think. Um, or he might not – you know what? He just wasn't good throwing downfield. I think the no preseason might have had an impact on him. At this point in the year, Phillip Rivers has played very, very well in recent weeks, so I don't see that being an impact. And their rushing game is much better because um, they had Marlon Mack that first game and probably planned on having him carry the load, uh, but he got hurt immediately. So um, I think those two things uh, will reverse themselves and the Jaguars won't be able to keep up with the Colts as much. Yeah, earlier in the year, um, so so in that game specifically, um, Rivers threw an interception that like absolutely hurt, like killed the Jaguar or killed his team. Uh, the Colts are up, and then he threw a pick, and the Jaguar scored, and then it was a close game. Uh, the Colts played some close games early in the year. Like remember, they almost beat Tennessee in week two. Uh, so if, if a couple of things would have gone right for them in that game, like they would have started two and zero. And then they'd be two and fourteen right now. Like uh, the Colts, uh, the Jaguars back then, they had they had Miles Jack healthy, they had Josh Allen healthy, they had 
uh, CJ Henderson, a corner. He was healthy. Like all those guys are not playing anymore. Like they, they're just missing so many players in defense uh, that and it's just difficult for them to be competitive right now. I, I just don't really see them doing it. And um, looks like looks like uh, you, you look like an offensive lineman because of the beard, uh, according to your mom. So uh, there, you go, there you go. Yeah, I'm growing it out. I got to make myself look like Brandon Sheriff ahead of free agency. <laughs> Nice. Uh, which Rivers is going to show up, uh, asks Randy. Uh, I think the good Rivers, um, because the Jaguars are terrible and they can't stop anyone. So uh, un- unless all those guys come back from IR, which is not possible, then I, I really don't see <laughs> them improving at all. Um, all right, let's get- 